Guys, my primary complaint this week is simple. It's the last week of coverage about college recruiting and rankings. Typically, we're going to see Alabama, Georgia, and the major programs up top. And now, no matter what happens and who gains ground, guess what? The transfer portal a year from now upsets everything. So a lot of the guys we're talking about now won't even be playing for the program that they just committed to and signed with by 2024. That's my primary complaint. My primary complaint, I've been waiting to air this out. I'm going to even grab the mic because <laughs> it really bothers me. It absolutely fires me up. I'm watching Texas Tech beat the brakes off of Ole Miss yesterday, and you're down 20 points in the fourth quarter, or 13, and you make a tackle, and you stand over the guy you just tackled when you're down two touchdowns. What are you doing? And then the other thing that bothers me is if you're up or you're down as a receiver 30 points and you get a first down and you give the first down <laughs> sign, you should probably have about 50 other first downs before you do that. It kills me to watch young players showboat when they're getting their tail whooped. And that is my primary complaint. <sighs> Gentlemen. <laughs> My primary complaint is that tramp stamps are apparently making a comeback. How did we get back here, and, and no pun intended, but studies are showing that the negative stigma around a tramp stamp is also declined? I, I don't get it. Listen, if, if you're thinking about getting a lower back tattoo or a tramp stamp, please do not. If I see a woman that has that, I know this is not the first bad decision she has made. It's... It's not attractive. No one's ever uttered the phrase that tramp stamp makes her more attractive. And so I'm sitting there and it's like, listen, if I do enough digging, I'm sure I'm going to find a GED, a couple of kids, a few misdemeanors. It's just not a good look. And I, I mean, like, uh, what's next? Are we just waiting for the uh, barbed wire bicep tattoo to come back as well? It's not a good look. Don't fall for it. You're only going regret to regret it. And that is my primary complaint. Yeah, the, uh, you know, the, you've got like the thorns and the, the heart with an arrow <laughs> through it or whatever for the tramp stamp. Yeah, I, I don't, I've yeah. never understood that. No, no, that's uh, not a good look. And I agree. <laughs> I, I think you, you put it very kindly that that's not the only bad decision that that person's <laughs> ever made. And if it is the first, it's the first of many. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have fallen off the wagon. Yeah, uh, not good. And they're co are, are they really coming back though, Davey? The New York Post put out an article, and again, like everything's trendy. Like it kind of comes back around. And I, I mean, we're probably, what, like 20 years removed from when that was a thing. So I, I could at least see the logic behind why we might be getting back there. But well, is it's, it, it, is it, it is the young stayed. audience or is this just like the 50 year olds now going in for a touch up? You know, oh, no, like I, a, I think it's, I think we're hitting the new generation. Oh, you wow. know what I love too? You know what I love too about that is that it was the stigma of it has now changed. Because, yeah, they haven't gotten it for 20 years, so right, nobody yeah. has seen it. Of, what it. of course it has. Oh, wait, I just realized we shouldn't have made fun of this because Matt's got one uh, here in <laughs> studio. Lower back tap. <laughs>